Hello everybody, this is Daniel with Dell and Arty. So happy to have each and every one of you here with me today. I am having a bit of trouble with one of my cameras here. So I have this uh, built-in one that I may be using for a minute until I can figure the other one out. I'm not sure why, but it's not. Registering is on. So I'm going to turn it off. Ah, now I see it's disconnected. That helps connect that right in there should be all right all right I see everyone popping in and saying hello thank you for coming on and let's get this over to the big the big screen what is happening guys did you guys see what I posted today using this big blue cardstock this dark dark blue cardstock it's pretty exciting stuff and I wanted to one I wanted to ask you if the the uh, camera is kind of jerky. Is the video jerky to you guys? Or is it just on this end? That's really weird. I think if I use this camera, it's not jerky. But it's also not very clear, so I guess for tonight it'll work. Carrie says, I just saw those stamps on Jenny McGuire's YouTube, too. They are awesome. Yes, they are. Fantastic. Yes, you saw a color wheel, Trudy. I'm in my office. Hey, Daniel, everybody. This is Artie Trudy Newman <laughs> from Lindora, PA. That's my buddy. Hi, Rachel. All the way from Washington State. I see lots of people coming in. Salona from Ohio, Pat from Iowa, eee, it's a fun night guys, it's a little late isn't it, I'm up a little late tonight, my friend Mealy is here from Providence, she goes to our church, I'm happy Mealy is here, bienvenida Mealy, hi Carol Wortman, between you and Aaron I haven't had time to go party tonight. TMI! <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know what? I don't know why my other camera is acting like that, but um, this one's going to work. We're not going to spend a lot of time on my face up here anyway. We're going to go down to the workspace. So let's get hopping over there. And I will just add me in here, and you'll see me from the side as I work instead of from the front. That's how we'll have to play things tonight. Yep. All right. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm hoping that you guys are having a lot of fun tonight and that you were able to check out the Simon Says Stamp Make Merry release. If you haven't, I'm happy because I only saw one one sale come through for this on my end. Um, so... You guys, the Arties haven't shown up yet to purchase at Simon. So I'm kind of like, you know what? I got to get on and talk about this stuff tonight because I don't want the Arties to miss this awesome release. And uh, you may be spent out. I don't know. <laughs> you may be tired of buying stuff from Stamp Timber. But, you know, there's some really great stuff that has come out recently. I'll, I also wanted to share something with you. I believe now on my channel, since we are monetized now, which is awesome, they they um, added a new option to my live videos, and that is Super Chat. And I've never seen us. I've seen Super Chat work, but I've never actually had one on my channel because I wasn't monetized yet. But now, because you guys have spent a lot of time with me online watching my channel, our channel, Dell and Artie, is now monetized. And you guys can send me super chats. That means uh, I think you get to pick an amount you want to you wanna contribute toward art supplies or whatever it is that our goal is for the day, whatever we're buying, whatever we're doing. And uh, you guys can just say hi or s support the channel in that way. Many of you are faithful users of my affiliate links, and I think that is so cool. And I just wanted to mention that to you guys. There's never, ever any 
pressure to give anything on this channel ever, 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 ever. It's just a new option, a new thing on here to help support Dell and Artie if you were so inclined. So if you ever use those, then I will definitely be giving you a shout out about it and it'll be a lot of fun. Um, any amount, it's fun. So I just wanted to let you know if you start seeing Super Chats pop up or stickers pop up, then that's why. All right? All right. Let's show you what I created with these stamps. Let's see. I received like four different goodies in the mail from Simon to play with for this release. Um, and these are the two creations I made with this release. Now, you guys are used to seeing me do this, right? Like, that's something you see me do all the time. Alright, that's Copic coloring. <laughs> Bonnie says she doesn't have any more money after CCC. I know I'm with you. I can imagine. Hi, Amy Phillips. Alright, and so this is the this is called the Center Cut Holiday Floral. It has a piece circle here that pops out. Let me show you how that works. If you're not familiar with it, it's this uh, center piece right here comes out. So you can stamp this first if you like in one color and then stamp that as a second color, right? It's a new, well, I think they've had a few of these before, but I think this is a definitely a brand new design with the... Uh, poinsettias. Isn't that cool? And then you can pop that out. You could interchange those circle uh, sentiments with others as well. But this is the poinsettia one. And they sent me this, which I haven't used yet because I'm going to use it for the blog on Saturday. I'm in a blog hop with them. And uh, then they sent me this stencil, which you can see I use lightly right here. Sorry, I was yawning there for a second. <laughs> I was, um, I use that for just a little accent here. You can see it starting over here, and then I faded it all the way over to the edge. I thought that was cool. I want to give you a close up to the coloring on this as well. Look at the berries in the middle. They're not really berries, they're the, the middle little things on the Poinsett, I don't even know what they're called. They're actually yellow greens with uh, little red accents on them. I thought that was a lot of fun. Hey, Jana Millen, welcome, my buddy. All right, but what I'm excited to show you guys tonight is a technique I had never used before that I can remember. I don't remember ever doing this, <laughs> but so it's kind of new to me. But this is the colored pencil on dark cardstock that I wanted to show you tonight. How did I do that? That's the question, the $50 million question. How did Daniel do that? What, is, what did I do? Let's look up close to this. You can probably see now what I did. I did some messy embossing there. I can see the, the embossing powder everywhere. When you get really close, you can see it, but when you're just looking at it, you can't hardly see any of that. So. <laughs> what did I do? I colored this in with black Copics for the shading and then added over it some polychromos pencils. Thank you, everybody. I'm happy you guys like this. This is really fun. So I think this technique is worthy of us playing with tonight. So I'm going to start this card off by getting my stamp ready and some blue cardstock, some navy blue cardstock. I'm going to put this in a Misty. This is the original Misty. Um, my others are otherwise occupied with other projects right now, so I figure I went to Blick Art Materials today and spent almost $700 on art supplies, guys. For you, for you, my precious friends, so that we can play together. Isn't that fun? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I went crazy. I bought all the Copics that I was missing. I bought refills, the big bottles. I'm going to take this out. Leave that right there. I bought this little mini color wheel. I'm just going to put that right there. And I'm going to get my magic powder bag out. Just lay down some anti static powder there. Blow some of that off. Let's pick some of this up. And then I'm going to get out my Versamark ink pad. You stay over there. I'm going to ink up my stamp. There we go. And there we have it. I have it inked up. Let's do it one more time. And then we will eventually we'll get to the other. But first let's heat emboss this with some clear embossing powder. First I gotta find my clear embossing powder. It may take me a second. There we go. I love using the clear embossing powder from Hero Arts. A lovely, lovely embossing powder. Uh, Amy, it is a little larger than an A2 size, so I'm thinking you may want to um, just stamp partially on your stamp, on your card. And I'm just going to pour that off. any extra off of there. Now I'm going to melt this with a heat tool. Let me... I'm going to use this heat tool but I'm no longer going to show it on camera because I'm mad at the company. How about that? I'm mad at the company and I'm not going to show it on camera. So, <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to bring my big uh, face up here again. Right there. And I'm going to take out my, my heat tool. I have a new heat tool coming that I will use from now on. For now, I will just melt this with this one. Bonnie says she's waiting for me to mail a card. There's some people waiting for lots of things for me to do. Guys, I have mailing is like my nemesis, but I will eventually get it all out there to you guys. Be patient and kind. Yes, I am waiting for my new gun, my new tool from another company. And these guys did me wrong. <laughs> they did me wrong. Well, not like major wrong, but still. Enough to not want to show the stuff anymore. I'm just not going to show it anymore. 
I won't badmouth them and I won't say anything about them. I just won't show their product anymore. How about that? That's what I'm going to do. All right. I got that done. Let's move back to my desk. No, I'm not going to air air the name out here about it, Bon Bon. I don't I don't want to badmouth anybody. But I also don't want to openly support them. So I don't want I wouldn't want you guys getting the idea that the company is reputable and backs their product and then because you saw Don already use it, Dell use it on his channel, then you buy it because then you're gonna think I'm messing with you. Or that I don't have good opinions of things and I I just can't back them anymore because of what they did. I bought three of their products so far and two of them have failed. So guess who's not buying any more of those? Me. And when I asked them to replace it for me, they wanted me to ship it to them and pay them money and possibly fix the thing for them. So, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> possibly they would fix it. That was what they said to me. Craziness. All right. I'm going to zoom in. And you can see the coloring now. Yes, yes. Keep the peace. When you see me use the, my new uh, heat tool, you'll know which company I'm going to be supporting then from here on. So what I'm doing here is just adding the shadows just like I would with any other um, painting with my marker right and I am going to color this in just like this Yeah, that's the, right there, that's the centerpiece we're going to use in just a minute. But first, we're going to just color this in like this, adding shading into all the, the pieces of each of the leaves. And we're going to, this is going to add contrast to the color pencil we're going to add in just a minute. These I'm coloring in completely black. And then these, there's little bitty stems in here or leaves. And then these leaves here, they're all getting the shading, okay? Do you guys need to see me do all of this, or do you want me to just start the, the, I mean, I only have a little bit left, so, I guess I can just finish up real quick. It's a really quick thing here. I'm just adding this to the shadow areas. I hope you can even see. Can you see what I'm doing?
Yes, guys. Take the high road. And I'm going to help you guys out by showing off a different product from now on. I'm not trying to be hateful. I'm trying to avoid being dramatic about it. But there's a reason why I'm not going to show it on camera anymore. Okay, make sure I get all these leaves. And wait till you see what happens with these colored pencils, guys. Polychromos are an oil-based colored pencil, and so they work really well in layers. I'm not an expert on colored pencils. In fact, I'm just a beginner with colored pencils. Absolute beginner, because I just don't use them. I bought them about a year ago after d taking a class with Libby with Hero Arts here in New England. She came for a visit and while there I played with polychromos pencils for the first time. But man, I just fell in love with them. My wife did too. She loved them. She thought it was so fun to color with them on this dark cardstock that we were playing with. So, though I've never actually done this on camera for you guys, I did do it once this week for the Simon Says Stamp release, the Make Mary release. It's such a fun, full of just really fun images and dies and stamps. It's just a, an adorable release. I hope you guys get a chance to shop it. Let me give you the link to the supplies list. There's the supplies list, guys. Yeah, any, any alcohol marker will work. Alcohol markers are not all the same when it comes to color. The color, I think the colors that Copic offers are much better than the other brands. But, that said, they all work just as well when it comes to, uh, I think, when it comes to just laying down color. If you like the colors in a set, get them. doesn't matter what brand they are. Alright, so there I did all the shading. It didn't take long to do all that shading, right? Pretty fast. But now I'm going to use my two polychromos pencils. I've just sharpened them with this little Cume um, pencil sharpener. So they're super sharp. Let's look at the points on these guys. Look at the point on that, baby. Let's see, how is that? Uh, it's pretty, pretty pointy. How about this one? Yeah. Those are pretty pointy. Now, I bought some Gamsol. I watched a video today on how to use that because I'm not, I'm brand new to Gamsol, but I don't know that I need to use it with this technique yet. I didn't use it yesterday, but, or the day before when I did this. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to color in With the blue, I'm going to come down right to the edge of that black, right? And I'm going to co come into the black a little bit and make it look like there's some striation in the cards, in that leaf. See that? I just colored that in like that. And then I'm going to do that with all of the leaves. First with the blue. And then I'll add the bullet, the white accents, right? So on these uh, holly leaves, I'm leaving them just like they are. The berries will get half a color. Oh, Berta, that's a great idea. I haven't even seen her use 
colored pencils yet. So now I'm just going to add this on the first half. Basically the outside edges of these uh, leaves. That's cool. What do you guys think of this? Think it's you think it's something you'd like to try? Do you? Huh? Uh -huh. Does anyone here have any polychromos pencils? I bought this set. I think it was like eighty bucks for sixty of them, so they're not cheap. But you're definitely not going to get the same result from a. Uh, three dollar set of pencils either you know what I mean I don't know what other um, brands would look like even actually because I don't have any other brands thanks Terry I think it's a really cool thing to Look how that just glows, doesn't it? Isn't that really fun? And it really takes a lot less effort. This I think this took a lot less effort than the Copic coloring that I did for this. It just takes a little bit of practice with seeing the kind of coloring the shading in reverse, you know. Or do I think the 12 pack's enough? You may not even need more than that. Hey, Jan Golden, how you doing? I'm happy you're here. Glad you could make it. So I'm just coming in and shading all of these are adding this kind of light light blue onto all of the tips of these leaves. I just got back from uh a meeting with some of the men in the church just talking and talking about um, issues and questions they might have about faith and living life with Jesus and they had gotten an asada which one of the men works for Capital Grill he's the butcher there and he, um, they have fantastic steak, right, at Capitol Grill. But uh, he's able to bring the pieces home that are not like prime cuts. Like, they're the same meat, but, you know, they may be leftover pieces after you cut certain bigger portions and perfect steaks out. And they're just as tasty. They just don't look as perfect, you know. And he popped those on the grill. And we had tortillas and beans. Oh my goodness, it was so good. I always talk about food on here, don't I, guys? All right.
let's see, am I almost, did I finish them all? I think I did. Maybe this one right here. All right, now, the white is even less, so I don't have to do as much now. I can do a lot less with the white. Hi, Lydia. I learned a bit about this with, in a retreat with, uh, not a retreat, but like a day class with uh, Lydia, Lydia, Libby Hickson from Hero Arts. So now I'm just going to add these uh, white accents here on the very tips, all right? Just the very tips of each of these. Making sure I got you know you need to make sure your your white is nice and uh, sharp, nice and pointy. So I'm gonna sharpen this again real fast. Keep it nice and sharp. T-bone was three ninety nine a pound, Bonnie. That's amazing. Wow. That's really good. We buy from um, the meat markets here. Providence has a lot of just meat markets, so. Jessica Frost Ballas, that's nice. She's amazing. And let's see what else we got here. So can you see the difference between the one with the white and the one without the white? I think I missed a leaf there in the blue. Isn't that beautiful? So much fun. Absolutely, Jana. That's yes, they are so giving. They're the ones that the two men that brought the food were the the men who are already elders in the church. They are just really great examples of living and serving. So they are always just right on top of things. I love those guys. So I'm just kind of leaving an accent here for these. <laughs> what did you, you added these pencils to your husband's Amazon cart? Well, I hope you used my link to do that, my friend. 
if you need a link to Amazon, you know what, let me put that out there for you guys. It's so helpful if you use my links when you shop because that way I can, it doesn't cost you anything extra and I get a small portion of that, which is nice. Which is super nice. Super nice. All right. Um, this is my... Now, it doesn't matter what, what you buy after you click this link. You can buy anything you like. And I still get a portion of the proceeds. So, I'm just going to put a link in here to Polychromos. But you can pick whichever set you like. Alright. Let's get that in there. There's my link. Hey, Marcy Joe. Good evening. Yes, we are over here playing with these uh, Polychromos pencils on dark cardstock. People and junkies today were asking me how I did this. And so I said I will go live tonight and show you how I did it. All right. I think we're done coloring this. We're done coloring it. What do you think? Yes, Jana, I do. I just put it on there. If you guys um, didn't see, here it is again. That's my Amazon link right there. So anytime you go shopping on Amazon, if you wanted to hit my page up for the link first, just a hint, guys. It's my pleasure, Marcy Joe. I love the junkies. I'm a big junkie. I'm a big stamp junkie. <laughs> All right. So I could stop there. You know, if I was just going to give this to somebody, if you want, you can um, continue on by... Um, actually blending this out. Let's see, I had a I had a brush here. I, I don't want to blend that out right now yet because I want to put this in my Misty stamping tool and replace this. Let's see. Right there. put that right in there and then I'm gonna peel out I'm gonna hold this down like this and then peel out the rest of that stamp All right? and then turn that around and watch what I do now I'm going to get my Versamark ink pad out again. And I'm going to ink up my center stamp, the cutout piece. And I'm going to stamp it right there in the center of that hole there. Let's do it one more time. And in the kit for the Hero Arts monthly, my monthly hero kit this month. There's this beautiful blue, it's called Glacier Blue Embossing Powder. By the way, if you are going to get any ads on and you are add-ons and you're a, a subscriber to the My Monthly Hero card kit, you have until midnight tonight, Pacific time, to get your add-ons uh, purchased so they'll be included with your, your shipping there. Right. They'll ship together with your kit. All right. And now someone is here. You can't see that see. anymore. I'm live love. My wife's uh correcting me about something. <laughs> All right. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. <laughs> I just have a new shade on my window that I turn on I keep down when I'm in here live so when my wife knows that shade is down it means I'm live 
I'm not going to show you the tool again on purpose. So I'm just kind of lifting it up here. <laughs> Berta, everyone can see the, the messages, I think, there. So Marcy, Joe can see your message. Okay, love, have a good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> My darling wife decided to pull a double shift. So she just got back from work, but she's going to go back to work now. And there it is. Isn't that just beautimous? Right, Jana? You can just get a few of them. I did use Versamark at the beginning, Trudy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so you, that's that's how I did that. It was it's really very straightforward, honestly. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to use Gamsol. And if I'm doing this wrong, you guys will have to forgive me because I don't know what I'm doing with Gamsol yet. I'm just going to take my brush and some, I have some uh, paper towel somewhere around here. But this is the way this artist did it on camera today. So I'm pretty confident that this is a, a valid way of doing this. If she did it this way, I can do it this way, I guess. Her stuff was just amazing. So she took a brush, a round watercolor brush. Uh, I bought an inexpensive one from Princeton. This is uh, not an expensive brush. And she just dipped it into her Gamsol, then brushed it off a bit. So you don't want a lot on there. Just a little bit will do you. And then she took her Gamsol, her Gamsol laden brush, and just uh, kind of blended those in together. You don't want a huge amount because if you get a huge amount, you're going to get some um, seepage going on. You don't want that. And what this is going to do is just knock that white back just a little bit and blend those colors together. Right, the blue and the white. Some people use a, a stub of some kind, but I don't like those things. I really liked seeing that she used a brush to do the hers with. When I take pictures of this before doing the blending, it looks awful. But when you look at it with the naked eye, it looks perfectly fine. So I think the blending is necessary. I had to go in and blend the uh, color pencils in so that my pictures would take all right without it looking like a total mess. And a little bit of that Gamsol goes a long way, apparently. You don't need a lot. You just need your brush to be a little bit wet with it. Anywhere you see it looking really stark, and you want to melt it back just a little bit, this is how you do it. Now, if you don't want to melt that back, you don't have to. When I say melt it back, what I mean is I blend it. I'm blending it. But 
but I think it's going to give just the right amount of white. I don't think I'm going to touch those tiny, tiny leaves. Maybe the more open ones, but... Now, do you see the difference between the two sides? One is blunt, more blended than the other. It's just that on camera, it's crazy how that white shows up. And in real life, you can't see it very well. <laughs> anyway, so that's... That's the trick, guys. I'm not going to do the whole thing right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. And I hope you'll give it a try. And, of course, the links to all of these things are in the description box below. Here is a finished card. This is a slimline card with just blue cardstock. And here is the Copic colored card again. Slim line. Oh, I wanted to show you this trick too. Ooh, this is really fun. To do a slim line card the way I do it, you may have your own way. That's your your business. But my way is this way. So let me show you my way. If I can find my score buddy. I will do that. I will show you this exciting little hack. Oh, there it is. All right. Super fun hack. Super easy hack to getting a slumline card. You don't know sometimes exactly where to cut it on your trimmer, right? If you don't know how wide you need to cut it exactly, but you do know how wide you want the card to be. You just go to that width on your score buddy. I go to three and a half, so I like them to be three and a half inches wide. And don't go all the way down, you're gonna cut tear your paper. Just score it down at three and a half and then finish it off like that. Just fold it like that, and now you know exactly where to cut it. You know exactly, just exactly, where to cut that sucker. All right. So let's get my trimmer right here. And I have a blue card base now, already folded, scored and folded. And there it is. Isn't that cool? And then I have another card panel that I can use on another card, right? That's a tip for the day, guys. I'm happy you were with me tonight for a little bit. Does anyone have any questions? That's my jerky camera. Let's get over here to my... I'm so sorry we're on this camera over here, which is not working super well. But my other guy just decided to up and be jerky tonight. Okay, what are you guys talking about? What's going on? Hi, Denise Bryant. How's it going? Yes, that paper trimmer is a dream, Bonnie O'Hara. I need to put those comments up there. All right, does anyone have any questions about these? Thank you, Rachel. I'm glad you liked the card, my friend. You never saw the link to Amazon? Did it not show up? No, does... There's the link. Does it not show up? I don't understand that, why it wouldn't show up. I'm going to get out of there real quick. Let's see if I can get the chat to come up again. No, that's not working for me. I'm going to come over here. 
and I'm just going to chat directly into there. I just sent myself a super chat. Let's see how that works. Let's see. No, it didn't work because I don't have my card in there. I don't have my card set up in my super chat right now. Or my Google account. I was trying to get that to work. All right, that didn't work. How about the the uh, comment though? Did you get my list? Did you get my list? My link? Did you? Huh? Huh? Did you? I hope that worked. Tell me if it worked, guys. Would you? Yeah, the poly that polychromos one that I sent you over is just way too. It's way. That's if you want the whole, like everything. But you can get a much smaller set. Like I got one for a sixty. Uh, but search for polychromos. Uh, once you hit that link, you can go to Amazon. That takes you to Amazon, and uh, you can pick the set that you like. Once you get there, you don't have to buy the one I I showed you. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for telling me. You that showed up. I don't know why my comments don't show up on Restream. That's just crazy. I'm the guy streaming. <laughs> my list is posted too. Okay. Let me see if my list, if I can post that as well. Let's see. Here's the list. So you can also buy those polychromos from Simon Says Stamp if you like. Which is nice. Does anyone else have any comments or, or questions? Thanks, Jan. I hope you guys have fun. And I hope you like that. Um, like those polychromos. I hope you get a chance to, to buy some. Even if you just go and grab a few of them. The colors that you want. You can buy them individually. I believe at Michael's or at uh, Blick. So... Thanks, Berta, for confirming that. Thank you, buddy. All right, what do we see here? Yeah, I don't know how much that, I don't know how much it was. I didn't see, I just grabbed a set so I could get you the link. Huh. You guys wanna go shopping with me now? Let's share my screen and we'll go to Amazon. Polychromos. I just grabbed whatever I could. It didn't even pay attention to. See, this one is 120. It's 203 dollars. That's a lot of money for colored pencils, in my humble opinion. Let's see. I mean, they may be just. See, this one is. 205 bucks but then you can go down and you can see all of these others are totally different brands don't be fooled by the price just because they're 30 bucks doesn't mean they're gonna be good good uh, good quality guys be very careful if you're gonna spend 30 bucks and never use it you might as well keep your 30 bucks I would say get polychromos or get a prismacolor Let's see, Polychromos 60. That's the one I have. And for $60, well, here's an, a 36 set for 84 bucks. But the 61, oh, that's uh, watercolor pencils. Don't get those. Unless that's what you're wanting, but that's not what I'm showing off here. Here is the one I have, the the ten of sixty pieces. It was like a hundred bucks, so it was a hundred and five dollars. There you go. Oh, and look, it has the options. A ten of twelve, you can get twelve for twenty-one bucks. 
if you just want to try them out. And they you get a 10 of 24 for 42 bucks, 36 for 70, and 60 for 105. I'll send you guys a link to this page. Let's see. Link. This gives me my links for me. And there you go. I didn't see those, but if you guys can find one there, go for it, my friends. And if you're willing to wait a while, yeah, they may be better on Prime Day or Black Friday. But I'm not like that. If I find something I want, I grab it anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, does anyone have anything else they'd like to share or say? I thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight again. God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow for C9 on the Nines. Ah, tomorrow is uh, release day. I've got to get you that. How many of you buy Conquer the Nine stuff every month? You're going to buy it anyway. Let me get you my, my link for their site. I thought it was logged in there for me. It did not. Let's log in. Yes, Bonnie, I like it having it now. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I like to shop while the iron's hot. But on some things, not like a car, if I'm going to spend 20000 bucks or 30000 bucks, I'm not going to just get whatever willy-nilly. So I will wait. I've been waiting. I've been holding out for good prices on those, on a good vehicle. So, All right. There's the link I just put up for Concord and Ninth. I hope that works out. You guys are able to use that. Does it, is it clickable? Because it doesn't look like it's clickable. Let's see if this one works better. There, that's clickable. All right. Click that link for me, guys. Even if you're not going to shop or you don't know if you're going to shop, those links help me a big, big ton amount. A huge amount. They're very helpful. It helps me to pay for stuff. <laughs> helps me to keep the channel moving and growing and seeing good things. It helps me to buy stuff like these polychromo, polychromos color pencils to show off to you guys. Thank you so much. I love you all, and I hope you have a wonderful night. God bless you. Take care.